Good day and welcome to our explanation of how to use a duplication tool called All-in-One WP Migrations to move your WordPress website from one host to another. In my case, I was using Duplicator previously for all of my basic sites and it was working great, but it's uh, erroring out on the this very, very large site with over 1,100 posts, uh, pages and posts, and uh, so I could buy the full version of it uh, that says it will resolve the problem, or I could just try another tool. So I'm going to try this other one that uh, one of the techs at GoDaddy had suggested. I've never used it before, so let's figure it out together. So all in one. So far I've just looked it up. I haven't actually done anything with it. So all in one. Install now. You can see it's got over a million activations, so it's, uh, you know, it's be okay, I guess. Installed. Activate. It's also rated five stars, which was kind of nice. Okay, now um, here I see all the migration on the left. I'm going to click. I think that's really all I have to do. So I'm just going to click export to file. I want to export the entire site. And I'm hoping this is just as simple as Duplicator was. Uh, this is a very large site, so I expect this to take some time. So I'll speed this up. Okay, so this is finished doing the export, and the export is just zipping up the database and all of the loose files, you know, like your graphics and things like that that you've uploaded manually. And uh, the mine's about a gig, so it's going to download it, says another 15 minutes. Um, so we'll accelerate through this as well, and we'll come back when it's downloaded and show you what to do with the other side. So at this point, the file is downloaded, yay. And now all I have to do is go to a new WordPress site and uh, add the plugin and then import uh, that file, which is easy enough to do. However, in my case, I don't like the way GoDaddy names their databases. Um, I want to be able to understand what they are. So uh, if you don't care about this, just skip through and I'll put a, in the top right hand corner uh, exactly what time to skip through. But other than that, I'm going to go through this very quickly to show you how to set up a database and uh, WordPress with specific names because I don't like the automatic way GoDaddy does it. So, um, and they do it that way, by the way, for good reason. They, they do it their way because they've got millions and millions of subscribers and they can't customize it very easily. So everything has to be named with, you know, numbers and that are unique, but for my end, that's a pain. So what you have to do is go into, uh, after your cPanel and uh, click on MySQL create a database. In my case, I created one called URTech. Um, then you uh, go down and you create a user, which you can call anything you want, uh, and a password uh, with anything you want, uh, and write that password down. You're going to need it. Uh, I use the password generator. Uh, it's the safest way to go. So, uh, But you can use whatever you want. Then you go down a little further and you apply the database uh, user to the database username. The names don't have to match, I just made the match because it's easier. Uh, then you click add, and that will take you into the permissions, and you simply give it all permissions. The next thing you need to do is go back to the home, and go down to uh, add sub uh, add on domains, and add in the name of the domain that you would like, uh, and where you'd like it to go. And then just click add domain and it will show up. Then you go back to your home again, and you select WordPress and you install it wherever you would like it to be. So click install this application. And uh, then in my case, I'm going to scroll through until I find the one that I just added, which was right here. And the title, the, okay, so I don't want it in the blog directory, so that's gone. Uh, what version you want, so on and so forth. We can skip through all of this. Uh, you can answer these if you wish. Uh, set up your own username and password, I would strongly recommend. Um, and uh, here's the part that gets interesting. So you select the database and let me choose an existing database and you simply put in which one you want. So uh, you select the UR Tech one and off you go. Um, put in your information and install and it will install where it needs to be. Okay, so that is how you can create your own database with your own names and keep everything happy. If you don't want to do that, you want to make it simple. As I said, ignore all of that. Simply go into your cPanel, click WordPress and create a nice new site. Uh, so you create a, a new site as you see fit. Um, any way you get to it, get to it. Now in my case, the next thing I need to do is change my DNS. 
Okay, so I've just logged into my DNS and I see under urtech.ca, I see that GoDaddy's already changed it for me, which was kind of nice. They didn't need to, uh, but uh, at any rate, if yours is from a different host, the reason it did that, by the way, is because I'm hosting both the old and the new with GoDaddy. I'm moving from an old system to a new, so that's unusual. You won't see that. Uh, so one thing I will change, though, is the time to live. I'm going to change that to one hour. It's very, very odd to have it at, um, at um, you know, whatever, uh, you know, 10,000 seconds is. That's a long, good long while. So let's set these to an hour. You don't need to do this. It's just what I want to do. So, okay, so the DNS has changed. So theoretically, this could take up to an hour for the uh, DNS uh, information to get to my local provider where I can go to the new... WordPress site that I just installed and get into it. But um, I'm going to skip through that and I'll get back when that is functional and I can get into the new site. Okay, so here we are. We're back. We're in the new site. So now I just need to go log in. Sign in. Not the account that I use, by the way, usually. There we go. Now I need to go to plugins. And I need to click Add New, and we have to find the all-in-one. Oops. Install. Activate. Um, for the vast majority of people, you will not have to do this. This is a gigantic uh, site that I'm moving over. It's got 1,100 pages, and most people don't don't have anywhere near that. So. Okay, so I've just bought it. I'm waiting for it to process. Downloading the unlimited extension. Again, the vast majority of you will not need to do this. So you go to your plugins, you select upload plugin, choose file, go to the zip, install now, activate plugin. Okay, so don't deactivate the original one. You need to have both the all-in-one uh, WP migration and the unlimited extension. So go into the all-in-one migration and select import. Import from, file, and I'm going to select my giant backup, which is this one here. And I'll come back in a few minutes when this is done. Okay, so this is done and it's saying the import process will overwrite uh, everything, basically. So, yep, do it, buddy. This is going to take forever, so yet again, I will speed through this. All right, so this is finally done. This took uh, over an hour, and uh, so I've just decided to cut out all of the junk that you didn't have to sit and wait for. Uh, so it says we need to perform two more steps. You must save your permalink structure twice, and permalinks opens the new window, or optionally review the plugin. I don't know what that means, but uh, doing the plugins, uh, these permalinks make sense to me, so let's go there. Again, that's not the username I use normally. I only have it set up for this. So save changes. And save changes. I don't know why it says you have to do it twice, but I just did. So hopefully that's good. And let's see what the site looks like. Bingo bongo, it's live -o. So that is how you use all-in-one WP migrator migrations. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.